Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to add a row to HTML table using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic custom structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom, which is script.js. Now we need one div element. Class will be container for this. Now we need one more div element here. Meta ID of data. Here we need input elements. Three will be enough. So first will be name. Second will be age. Just change the type. Make it number. And here it will be country. Okay. Let's add a placeholder here. Let's make it enter country. Just copy and paste it here and here. So it will be name and it will be age. Now we did one button. Let's make it add. Here we need a table. So let's create a row. So we'll have three headers here. First will be name. Just copy and paste it. Second will be age. And third will be country. Create a row here again. So we need some data here. So let's make it beta. Copy and paste it. Make the age 20. Make the country USA. So let's add at least three rows. Okay. Make it change. Make it 40. Country will be UK. Make it Ronald. It will be 30 and it will be Canada. Save it. Now go to style sheet. Select the container. The display will be flex. Flex direction will be column. Line items will be center. Select th element and the td element. Border will be one pixel solid black. And padding will be 10 pixels. Select the data and this one will have margin bottom of 10 pixels also we need to style the input element and the button padding will be 10 pixels and let's make the width 90 pixels save it open this file in the browser and this is the output now here logic is pretty straightforward I will enter the name here, age here, country here. On the click of this add button, I want to display this data here. Okay. Now let's go to JavaScript file. Select the button. So let's make it btn add. Select the table. Also select the input elements. So let's make it name input. We'll select it by the ID. Now just copy and paste it. So here it will be age, here it will be country. Same goes here. Age and country. Now add the event listener to the button which is click this is the handler function now we need the value of these input elements let's create a variable here name and there is a property value just copy and paste it so it will be age and it will be country 
same goes here now we need to add a row to the table so let's form a template string of tr element create a variable template so let's create tr element here now we need three td elements so here first i will have name copy and paste it let's make it age and let's make it country so this is our row and these three are the cells you can see I'm following the same format which I followed in the HTML file okay row and these three cells so first we'll have name then we'll have age then we'll have country okay now we need to add it to the table so there is in HTML property you simply need to append it to the existing HTML okay so we'll make use of plus equal sign then we'll pass this template like this now you save it go to browser now let's add a name here it will be marks let's make the age 60 country will be brazil click add and that's our data let's modify this and let's make it nick make the age 55 country will be Australia click add and that's our data so that's it I hope you got the point that actually works see you in the next video have a nice day